If one photo sums up the impending slow death of the European car manufacturing industry, it's the one we'll look at in this video, and which is in the thumbnail. Thousands of cheap and quite frankly nasty Chinese MG EVs, which have nothing to do with the legendary British sports car brand famous for cars like My Little Midget, they just bought the brand and logo, piled up on the docks in Bristol in the southwest of the country waiting to flood the UK market. This is the direct result of the insane net zero madness in Europe, which is forcing automakers to abandon reliable and profitable internal combustion engine cars and pivot to making EVs, something they will never be able to do as cheaply as China. And the ramifications of this are enormous. In this video, we'll take a look at a bunch of articles that have all landed together on the same issue and how it could be disastrous for the UK, Europe and the West more generally. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney-based YouTuber. Be sure to follow me on the usual socials for more content, links in the description, and there's a code on screen, scan that with your phone if you want to sign up for an occasional MGuy email, it'd be great to have you on board. We'll come on to the political implications in a little while, but firstly, let's take a look at this photo and what it means. Stunning aerial images show thousands of electric cars arriving in Bristol. Striking aerial images have captured thousands of Chinese-made electric cars arriving in Bristol by container ship, as manufacturers gamble on the UK showing an increased appetite for affordable electric vehicles. In a significant development last week, the port of Bristol welcomed its largest ever single shipment of cars, predominantly consisting of Chinese-manufactured MG EVs. A colossal car transporter docked at the port with an impressive cargo of 4,694 vehicles from China, some of which are expected to hit the market at prices below £10,000. The photographs reveal a sea of new cars in vibrant shades of orange, white, blue and more, neatly arranged and ready to be distributed to dealerships throughout the country. This record-breaking delivery aboard the vessel Wisdom Ace represents the most substantial number of vehicles ever transported to the port in one go. The majority being transported were MG models. And the key sentence in the article is this one. As the leading producer of electric cars globally, there is concern that China's less expensive models might saturate markets in the US, UK and Europe. Among the arrivals, the MG3 2018 stands out with its competitive price tag of £9,495, positioning itself as a budget-friendly contender as Chinese electric vehicles increasingly make their presence felt in the marketplace. Gee, you think? These are cars made with cheap fossil fuel manufacturing because China really doesn't give a shit about net zero and European manufacturers cannot get close to matching their prices. Nobody wants to buy EVs either, but the climate catastrophists have brainwashed us into net zero, so we all have to buy EVs after 2035. This article from the UK Telegraph, which has excellent material on EVs by the way, spells it out bluntly. How Beijing buried Western industry under a wave of cheap electric cars. Chinese dominance leaves the US and Europe trailing in the wake of its EV land grab. China has seized on the net zero transition to launch an electric car manufacturing push that's gone from 0 to 60 in the blink of an eye and is now poised to reshape the global car industry beyond all recognition. Having already secured a switch to electric in its home market, the Asian superpower has embarked on a push for wider domination of the $2.6 trillion, that's £2.1 trillion, auto industry. It is flooding emerging markets and Western economies alike, with electric cars priced to vastly undercut rivals. A new report from the International Energy Agency, IEA, has laid bare just how far the Chinese electric vehicle EV land grab has progressed. It highlights China's potential to leave established auto giants, everyone from Ford to Nissan, trailing in its wake as road transport undergoes the biggest transformation since the first Model T rolled off a Detroit production line in 1908. And instead of just abandoning net zero, which is what we should be doing, and which would solve all these problems in an instant, the IEA says we should be making more batteries just to keep up with the Chinese. And the UK blithely nods along. Net zero at risk in wake-up call for West. China's battery-making dominance is threat to UK and Europe, report warns. 
Britain and Europe risk becoming dependent on China to hit net zero without a massive increase in battery production, the International Energy Agency has warned. Its latest report on the global growth in battery technology warns that China has cornered the market by controlling 85% of production capacity. That is alongside China's domination in the extraction and processing of critical minerals for batteries, as well as the facilities needed to produce car components such as anodes and cathodes. Findings from the IEA indicate that batteries will play a key role in cutting global emissions, but warn that the West must expand production facilities or risk becoming reliant on potentially hostile foreign powers. The report said, China dominates the battery supply chain with nearly 85% of global battery cell production capacity and substantial shares in cathode and anode active material production. Angus McNeil MP, chairman of the Energy Security and Net Zero Committee, said the IEE's report must serve as a wake-up call in the West. Yeah, it's a wake-up call all right, but it's one to get off the net zero bandwagon as quickly as possible, not to try and keep pace with China's fossil fueled battery building binge with nothing but windmills and solar. And we're already seeing the very tangible results of all this lunacy, as Stellantis threatens to pull out of the UK due to the sliding scale of EVs that manufacturers are already required to sell, a scale based on pure fantasy. Law to limit petrol car sales is terrible for the UK, warns Vauxhall maker. Carlos Tavares warns company could slash number of vehicles it sells in Britain. The net zero crackdown on combustion engines could force the maker of Vauxhall to scale back its presence in Britain, its boss has warned. Carlos Tavares, chief executive of Stellantis, said that a law to limit petrol car sales was terrible for the UK and would force manufacturers to sell vehicles at a loss. If ministers did not make urgent changes to the rules, he suggested Stellantis could be required to slash the number of cars it sells in Britain and refused to rule out halting sales of some models altogether. A source close to the company said the more likely option was that sales could be restricted or that it would be forced to put up prices to compensate. Asked whether the maker of Vauxhall and Citroen cars could stop selling models in the UK, he replied, I'm not going to sell cars at a loss. Mr Tavares blamed sagging demand for electric cars, which were crashing in the world of reality, due to high prices, poor charging infrastructure and range anxiety among consumers. The natural market share of electric cars was currently just half of what car companies are required to sell under regulations brought into force this year, he added. All of these factors converging at the same time, cheap Chinese EV imports, net zero lunacy that China doesn't need to comply with, unachievable EV targets on local manufacturers, plus plummeting demand is a perfect storm for the car industry in Europe and the West generally. The big question is whether our lords and masters in Western governments, still drunk on the climate Kool-Aid, will realise soon enough to avoid an economic catastrophe. Personally, I'm not very hopeful.